What is up? It's your boy John Ashree, Vibe, BB Pro, Mr. Talik. It is. We're here at Pure Muscle Fitness in Burlington, Ontario, the mecca of Canada, probably North America. Either way, I'm here with Noah Hamilton and Brandon Mendoza. We're going to train chest today because it's Monday, obviously, but Brandon's in the start of his prep. I'm in 12 weeks out of my prep, and Noah just wants to look real nice. So we're going to bash out a chest workout. You guys can follow along at home, get all those good cues. So, guys, without further ado, keep your eyes good to the screen, ears good to the speakers, and let's learn some shit. Much all warmed up, primed. We're gonna start our working sets now. We're all on like a little bit of different schedule in terms of the mezzo cycles. So I'm gonna push what I push. I'm gonna push the way they're gonna push, obviously. For me, I'm gonna keep my reps, you know, between 10, 12. I'm gonna do a regular rest pause. So if I can't reach my top end rep, I'm gonna drop it for a sec, put the weight down, so continue to get my reps again. So. Like it's cool to be strong, but it's like I'd rather look better than. I like being explosive when I play ball. Yeah. Or, but like it was like, yeah. how much do you bench? Man? No, I know, I know, right? Like, that I, was Mendoza. Mendoza cared about that stuff. <laughs> 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 well, actually, you know, three weeks ago I was benching. I'm in my two load weeks, so yeah. see if starting off from that. It's almost three plates. Setting. I don't know you two often superset, but we're uh, kind of like, you know, get the chest, the chest obviously can hit the same areas for the insertions. So I get a nice decline, hit this to the intercost head, and then doing the, the fly press, I get a little more pec, you know, pec major. So it's like a very like well-rounded superset. You're not just doing decline and then going to do decline. So. Squeeze it out, <sighs> squeeze it out, squeeze it out. <sighs> yeah. All right, so I'm, uh, I like, it's fun oh, yeah. to train with the guys, train, you know, everyone has their own different training Better styles. Believe it. We're all Better training believe it. to grow our body. We're all doing hypertrophy. So I like, you know, just taking on like guys, different heavy? training programs, you know, doing what they're yeah, doing. Not too heavy. I can still do what they're nice doing and, and then nice. keep my techniques the same. So I'm always gonna do, you know, a slower or longer range, full range. Where Doze is gonna be like very similar. Doze is being coached by Peter at the moment. I've been coached by him as well too, so I know his training philosophies and style as well too. I'm pretty sure Noah's gonna uh, train with everybody in the world, so. You know, we all have our different styles, we're all training the same way. I mean, same workout today. You know, if you see, if you see one of us, what we're doing, you kind of like can relate, you know, take some cues. We've all been doing this for probably half of our lives and we all look pretty good. And you can see we're all moving very good too. So just because I say something doesn't mean I'm, I'm the end all be all, I'm not. I'm just giving you my opinion based on what I've learned, education, experience, and then giving you guys the best advice I can give you to make sure you guys are doing as optimal as possible and what's necessary. And that's where we're at. We're trying to be as, you know, do things as necessary as possible. And as right now, Noah's got the shoe game on. <laughs> Son of a... Come on, man, you, you can't take away from the jersey. Tell me, tell, you, tell me from the GTA without telling me from the GTA. <laughs> <laughs> so what's good about this is like, I'm, I, in my program, my training, my push day one is gonna have a lot more 
pec minor in it. And then my upper day two is gonna be a lot more shoulder, inner cross head, lower pec. My second day will be a lot more clavicle head, minor pec. change your physique by doing the opposite type of training that you're doing for. Say you're like explosive, fast, everything, and, yeah. just, and heavy weight. Then you decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do everything slow, yeah. like methodical, lighter weight. Do you think your body looks different? I think it would look, I think it would have got to where it got to the results faster. Wow. Right? Do you think, I think, do you think like time and attention is like, it's like when it, when it comes to like training, it's distance and load. Right, so if I do a bench, it's like basically like where my arm, like full range is like, this is like a foot, basically. This is like a foot. Yeah. And now if I do X amount of reps, it's gonna equal a distance. Yeah. And well, if I do X amount of like weight, it's gonna affect that distance, how long I can go the distance. Right? So if okay, I do yeah. like a max amount of weight, I'm only gonna go a short distance. That's right. And to build the most amount of muscle, you wanna go a longer distance. Oh. So you're trying cool. to find that like, yeah, you're trying to find wow. that sweet spot of like the low. Interesting. Right? Yeah. So, that's, that stuff to be like, I mean, it probably is out there, but it should be like sort of pushed I'm, out a little more. You I'm, know doing I mean? a, I'm doing as much as I can, but yeah. it's not as much as like, like Mike's the same way. He, yeah. he said the same thing, he said like a little different. Yeah, yeah. We have our own interpretations of, yeah. of like, you know, what's necessary. Yeah. But like, there's not enough. Spiritual health, well, community, yeah. culture. Your body's a temple. Yeah, we're, we're, and the thing is, we're working with fucking machines on the most technology, tech. Yeah, we're working with the most basic fucking machines right now to improve ourselves to evolve as well. Yeah, it's just like there's something bigger and larger than we think I've going said, on. I've said the same, like you know, most of my connections might be the most spiritual thing you do. Like we talk about being like in the moment, being aware. Yo, like if you're thinking about a muscle coach, you're not anywhere else. When, but you, when you were talking about going slow, I was like, yeah. that's just what you gotta do in life too. Yeah. Because you know what? We're like, we're running here, we're running here. We're like, it's the same. Ah. Yeah. But like, you get in there, you can really sort of almost like yeah. get into it and meditate almost, like what's going on during yeah. each moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. life too, it's like, hey, every moment is the moment you should be like paying attention to. Exactly. And yeah. it, it builds into something. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyways, let me do my set. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to church today. <laughs> this is hey? church, man. This isn't Reverend, church. Reverend Noah. <laughs> money do you need there's yeah. people out there that need yeah. what you're doing yeah you know what I mean but there's people out there yeah. that we need to bring in yeah so yeah. I thought you know just softening it up yeah we don't need the sweaty big muscular shredded ripped people yeah let's go get the lifestyle get everyday people that yeah. don't even know what a fucking calorie is yeah that's like my majority of my clientele. it's perfect that's the people you should be going after yeah. That's so what so makes the grateful. industry bigger. So much more grateful. That's what grows the, 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 the culture. That's what yeah. grows the message. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to talk to each other here. We've done yeah. that, you know? Yeah. yeah. The goal is to make it mainstream. Yeah, just like it should be like a lifestyle. It's like yeah. everyone's doing it. Just how, look, how benef look how beneficial this has been for us. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if we didn't do this. Holy fuck, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah, 100%. traditional rope yeah. good about this is not really focused so much on like really gripping then you can really sort of connect from your tricep from right here in your hands so when you're pulling down you're thinking more of this pushing from here and connecting here then like gripping and then trying to do all this stuff with your wrist so as long as I keep it like a really good neutral neutral wrist positioning so when I'm going down you're getting straight this and you're not focusing too much on trying to grip so much so you can really connect that much better to your triceps I find with this do you need it no you don't if you have one use it 
but that's what you can kind of connect to. You can use that for probably getting a better mind and muscle connection in your cardio. Anyway guys, uh, make sure you guys follow on Pure Muscle Fitness. This is literally the probably the best gym. Literally probably, no, it is. It is the best gym. It is honestly like I've been I've been off the land, I've been I've been all over the States, I've been all over Canada. This is definitely the Mecca of North America. Uh, let me go rest of the world, not to say that as well too, but if you're in the area, I, if you're going to travel anywhere, travel up here, Burlington, Ontario, come visit, get the best workout in. You'll probably need a couple weeks to hit at least like two, three machines for a muscle group. Uh, follow these guys also on Instagram as well too. No, no Balboa, um, Brandon Mendoza. What's your uh, Mendoza Brandon? Mendoza Brandon. Oh, you switched it up, eh? Easy, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Just to screw things yeah, up a little wow. bit. <laughs> and uh, make sure you guys buy me ebook. Nutrition book is coming out as well too. Until next time, guys. Iron sharp is iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. Hey.